Hey guys, this is question set number two. Let's get started with our first question. The sum of two numbers is 1000 and their LCM is 10879. What are these numbers? So you have been given the sum of two numbers. So let's say that these two numbers are A and B. So A, if we consider it to be X, B would be 1000 minus X because the sum is 1000. So B would be 1000 minus X. Let us consider these two numbers as co-prime. Now if we consider these two numbers as co-prime numbers, we can write their LCM as their product. So LCM is equal to A cross B. Now we have been given the LCM which is 10879. So let's write that. And we know the values of A and B which is X and 1000 minus X. So 10879 is equal to 1000 X minus X square. Let's bring all of the terms to the left hand side. So we can write X square minus 1000 X plus 10879 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. If you solve this equation, you get the two roots of x as 989 and 11. If you solve this equation, you get this answer. If you don't know how to solve a quadratic equation, search on internet or watch some of my pre previous videos where I have solved quadratic equation. So the roots are 989 and 11. So our answer is option D. Now let's move on to question number 2. The product of HCF and LCM of two numbers is 112. And you have been given the difference between these two numbers, which is 6. You have been asked to find out these numbers. Okay, let's say that these two numbers are A and B. Let's assume A to be X. And the difference has been given as 6. If So if A is X, B would be X plus 6. We know that the product of two numbers is equal to the product of its LCM and HCF. Now putting the values of A, B, HCF and LCM, we get X into X plus 6 is equal to the product of HCF and LCM given is 112. So we have 112. X square plus 6X. If we bring this 112 to the left hand side, we have minus 112 is equal to 0. Now you have a quadratic equation. Now again, if you solve this quadratic equation, you get two, two roots of x. One is one of the roots is 8 and one of the roots is minus 14. Now there's no negative numbers here, so you can comfortably ignore minus 14. So you are left with 8. So x is 8. So one of the numbers is 8. So therefore, a is 8 and b is 8 plus 6 that is 14. So our answer is A. 8 and 14 are the two numbers. Okay, let's move on to question number 3. You have been given the product of two co-prime numbers. You are asked the LCM. So it is known that if you have any two numbers A and B and if these are co-prime numbers which means that they do not have any factors common to them rather than one. So these numbers are co-prime and you are asked to find the LCM. Well, it turns out that if a pair of numbers or a group of numbers are co-prime, then their LCM is nothing but the product of these numbers. So their LCM is anyway going to be A and B. So in this case, you are already given this product, which is 42. So LCM is 42. Hence our answer is option B. Question number 4. The greatest number that can exactly divide these three numbers is? Well, if you may recall, HCF is also known as GCD. That is the greatest common divisor. So this question is basically asking you to calculate the greatest common divisor of these three numbers. So let's find out the HCF of these three numbers. So basically what we'll do, we'll first find out the HCF of these two numbers and then we'll find out the HCF of the result of this operation with 124. So let's actually do this by 
division method. So we are going to divide 204 by 140. So 140 is the divisor which is going to divide 204. So 140 times 1 is 140. The remainder is going to be 64. Now this is not 0. So we are going to divide 140 by 64. So we have 140 again. So 64 times 2 is 128. The remainder is 12 and which is again not 0 so 64 is going to be divided by 12 so 12 5 are 60 we have the remainder 4 now again we are going to divide 12 by 4 so 4 3 is a 12 and the remainder is 0 so 4 is the HCF so we have 4 here now we have to calculate the HCF of 4 and 124 so HCF of 4 and 124. Again we can divide 124 by 4 and actually it is exactly divisible by 4. 4 3's are 12 and 4 1's are 4. So the remainder is 0. So this is the HCF of these two. So the answer is 4 because we have first calculated the HCF of these two numbers which turned out to be 4 and again we are calculating the HCF of 124 and 4 which comes out to be again 4. So our correct option is option B. Let's solve our last question. What is the least number that is a perfect square and is divisible by each of the following numbers? So if a number is divisible by each of, the, of these numbers then it is anyway going to be the LCM of these numbers. So we'll first find out the LCM of 6, 4, and 3. You can either do it traditionally calculate the LCM of these three numbers but if you observe carefully these three numbers are co-prime numbers that is there is no common factor in between them rather than 1 and if these numbers are co-prime numbers we can directly calculate the LCM by multiplying these three numbers. Now this is the LCM of these three numbers but the question is not asking the LCM it is asking you to find the the least number that is a perfect square and this number should be divisible by the LCM of these three numbers. Now what we can do to simplify things here we can break this down into squares like we can break 6 down into 2 into 3 we can write 4 as 2 square and this 3 as it is. Now we have here 2 into 2 square into these 3 when we combine them we have 3 square. Now this is not a square. So to make this a square, this complete number a square, we'll have to multiply this by 2. If we multiply this by 2, this becomes 2 square into 2 square into 3 square. Now this is a perfect square. So if we solve this, we get the answer as 4 into 4 into 9, which is after solving, you get 144. So the answer to this question is 144.